Welcome to The Grave Tapes, where I'll be walking you through how to trace your own genealogy. Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of The Grave Tapes. Last week, if you uh, were around last week, you heard that I was having some trouble with researching some different people, and so I kind of put a call out to some friends, um, some Instagram followers, and one of my Instagram followers uh, sent me this information on Myrtle Brandon was willing to have me do some research on her um but this i wanted to show you that this over here is family echo this is what this looks like um i did a free one of the free um setups here because i wanted to be able to email this to her just in case she wanted it uh, i don't actually know if she has this information on the other members of the family that we will hopefully be discovering but i wanted to give that option to her so what i've done is basically I just went into Google and typed in Myrtle Brandon Dunzinger and um, genealogy.com came up which this is a part of Ancestry um, uh, at least it's often linked with Ancestry um, I think that this is decently accurate I've done some research in family search and also here in the census records I found some things um, but I'm based on the information that my Instagram follower gave me I believe that Charles Brandon and Ida Brandon are the accurate parents for Myrtle. Her name was Ida. At some point, they she changed it to Myrtle. Not 100% sure when. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to input this information here. You guys can see how it's done on this um, platform. Um, you just hit add parents, and then it goes to mother first. So her surname at birth was, I think this said over here, Gavin Garvin. Garvin. Um, she was born in Jamaica. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Approximately... Idea was 56 in 1930, so that means she would have been born in 1874. Okay. And then Charles. Also born in Jamaica. We'll put that over here. Alright, it looks like we have found Charles and Ida's marriage record with some other information. It's also super helpful because on this marriage record we have both Ida's father and Charles' father. Ida's father as William Darley Garvin. And Charles' father as Horatio Brandon. I am going to put the links in here. Um, there's not really a place for sources on Family Echo, so I usually just put them in bio notes.
Okay. This might be helpful. It looks like a census from 1880. Ida would have been six. They were living in Florida? Just because Charles and Ida were married in Jamaica doesn't mean she was born there. Alright, I'm going to go on gut here and say this is the correct Ida B. Thorvin that we are looking for. Her father's name is accurate. Her mother's name is one that I saw somewhere else. No, nope. I'm not sure where I saw it, but Sophia, I saw somewhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. A lot of genealogy is proving and disproving yourself, so I don't really have a problem with adding this, even though I don't have really, really solid information, as long as I am aware that this may or may not be true. Oh, here's where I saw that. Um, 1838? Let's see. In 1880, he was 42. So yeah, that sounds right. And his wife, let's see. Um, Sophia? Do we have a name for Sophia? Sophia Williams? Sophia was 38. She was born in Florida. We do have a lot of sources, potential sources and records for this. I can't get to them, however, because I'm not signed up for Ancestry. I suppose the question is, how many Horatio Brandons can there be in Jamaica? All right, Horatio Brandon, 1835 is approximately the right date. Technically, Charles could have been his son if he died a year after he was born. Um, although I think that probably means Charles would have been not been born in the West Indies, but I don't know that for sure. Um, and at first glance, I mean, we don't see Charles in here. However, Eugenia and Isabel were both names that we saw in here. Eugenia is here. Isabel is here. Um, I don't know about the Francis, Francis Augustus Stone part, but, and possibly maybe he had more than one wife, I don't know. Manasseh and Rebecca appear here. Interesting. I just found a article, and I know you can't read it because I can barely read it, but it says, Horatio Brandon, the Daily Press has reported the accident by which Horatio Brandon met his death in leaving a railway carriage when the train was in motion near the Edgware Road station of the Metropolitan Railway. The gentleman who was fearfully injured was removed to hospital where he almost immediately expired. 
An inquest was held on Monday, and his body was removed to the burial ground of the Portuguese congregation. Mr. Brandon was a merchant of Kingston, Jamaica, 26-7-1872. That sounds like our man. I think it's the same guy. All right, so by the record of this, Abraham and Judith were Manasseh's parents. I'm going to call it quits here, and um, I'm really excited about this. I think that if the information we, we have found is accurate, this is a really cool family lineage, and I'm really excited to be a part of researching it. Um, but join us next time, and we'll do some more research.